my YouTube friends. Being creative on a live stream is half the battle. Adding more cameras is an awesome way to add another layer to your live stream. There are a lot of creative ways to use a second camera or even a third. Today I'm going to show you how to add multiple cameras in Prism Live Studio. We got a lot to get to so you know what? Let's get to it! Now personally, I think the best use of a second camera is to help teach a skill where showing your hands is useful, like teaching guitar or maybe piano. In this example, I'm going to show you how to add a second camera for a gaming channel. That way your audience can see what buttons you're pressing in real time. We're going to use Prism Live Studio. It's an awesome free streaming tool. There are links in the description down below so you can download it and follow along. That is the best way to learn. So here's how you do it. All right, there are a bunch of different things that you can do with Prism Live Studio and multiple cameras. Uh, but we're going to just create the simple scenes that you would normally see for a game live stream. So I'm going to call this one uh, Just Chatting. And we're going to add a quick camera to this. So we're going to go to our video capture device and click OK. And we'll call this Main Cam. And we'll click OK on that one. And we're going to go and we're going to select our cam link multi right here and click OK and I'm just gonna adjust our camera a little bit actually I'm gonna hold down the alt key crop this up some crop out the corners of the room a little bit maybe crop a little on the bottom and eh, we'll leave it we'll leave it I'm gonna click the plus we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a background template and I'm gonna put that one in there right there move that below our main camera and I'm gonna make this kind of a cool looking little stream here we're just gonna put a prism chat in there stick this over here so we have chat and then for down here we can easily put a couple of real simple widgets in here uh, we've got a view counter widget right here that we could just stick in there very simple I kind of like this one to be honest so I'm just gonna put that one in there so that tells us what our view count is right there and we want to fill out that space just a little more we could go and add some text template stuff and we'll call this one FB click OK we'll go to social and we'll add uh, this one here and we're going to go in and increase the font size a little bit click OK and so now we've got a little thing there we're going to click the plus and we're going to go here we'll go ahead to social we'll put our YouTube in here and we're going to go into our detailed settings of course bump up the size of this we don't want it to go into two lines so there we go bring this down we just got to make it about the same size as our Facebook one kind of put these up against one another make sure they're about the same size and there we go so now we've got a just chatting screen and this isn't something where I would normally um, put a second camera on there doesn't serve a purpose but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create something like this it has all the features you could possibly want right in prism it's so friggin easy but let's go ahead and create our gaming scene where we're going to add multiple cameras so we're going to click over here and we're going to just go game and we'll click ok the first thing we'll do is add our game we can use a game capture we can use a display capture it's really up to you i tend to want to use a display capture because well i'll show you I'll show you we're going to use game capture any full screen application click OK when I select the game so the game came up and we just have to do that now we need game audio so I'm going to click the plus I'm going to go to application audio output capture we're going to go ahead and select the game boom and in order for our game audio to work we just have to click on the game you can see the game audio works 
Now what you're going to notice is, and why, why I use a screen capture instead of game capture, if I go back to just chatting, and then I come back to the game, you can see we're blank again. Right? I have to click on the game and wait for it to come up. So if I right click and delete that, and I click the plus, and I go to display capture, I can go ahead and select the display that I want, just in big in this right here, so it fits on our screen. And so we still have our, we still have to click on it to get our audio. It still has to be active to get the game audio. However, if we go back to just chatting, we come back to the game, the screen never disappears. I don't have to click on the screen to make the screen come up. So that's why I like to use display capture when capturing games, but you might feel differently about it. We're gonna go ahead and add our cameras. So in this case, we're gonna click the plus. And the first thing I wanna do is start my prism lens. We're gonna use prism lens for this. I don't actually have it started, but there we go. It starts up automatically. Now in this particular case, I could just select prism lens, but let me show you how this is set up. So I have a prism lens one, and you can see the original there. I just remove the background. I select my camera right here. Um, and I removed the background and then I went to uh, You could see that you can add all sorts of backgrounds if you want. It's really pretty cool um, And then they have free layouts for stuff like this as well I mean you can really use any of them, but I uploaded a little green screen so that we can use uh, this without a background so I just went into any application uh, if you're watching this you create thumbnails so use the same application that you create thumbnails in just to add a green card and just upload it right here by clicking the plus and uploading your green card and there you go and so then in the camera right here we can go to filters and I'm gonna just click the plus down here and we're gonna go to chroma key click OK and bada bing we have removed our background and we can close out our filters window and then I want to go down here and use a custom audio device. I want to go ahead and select the audio that I want for this particular thing. So we're going to use Camlink Pro Audio 1. Boom. You can see we have our Prism Lens audio. If I select our game, we have our game audio right there. So, so far, so good. Everything is working. What I'm going to do is go ahead and shrink this down. Stick it over here. And next, we're going to add our second camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus here. I'm going to go to video capture device, click OK, and we're going to call this cam2. Let's call it hand cam so we know. There we go. And we're going to click OK. And in this particular case, we're going to use the Insta360. And you can see we don't have an image. That's because I have to go over here to the Insta360. And we have to go ahead and turn off the preview on that. Now when we select the Insta360, we should get our camera there we go now in this case I'm not super worried about the audio because I'm gonna mute it anyways so I'm just I'm gonna click OK on that and you can see when we take a look at it we've got our prism lens we don't have any audio on hand cam because we've got nothing set up as our default so we don't have to worry about it um, obviously that's not the view we're looking for so we're gonna have to go over here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this thing going on there and we can just give it one of these, move it up a little bit, and close our arm to the bottom. And that looks pretty good. That's gonna be fine. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just crop this like this. So we don't need all the other garbage in the background. And just shrink this down like that so now we've got our two cameras we have a camera on me with the background removed which is epic and we have our hand cam so it can see us typing and we can create scenes that you know move us around on the thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on here and we're gonna go ahead and copy and we'll call this game 2 that works just fine so on game 2 let's move this one up here and we'll move this one down here and there we go so now we got game one 
we got game two. We can go ahead and copy this again and we'll call this game three. What we'll do with this one is we're gonna put this down here in the bottom right hand corner and we'll just go ahead and embiggen this one for this scene like that. And there we go. So now we've got another, we've got game one, game two, game three. So you can see, you can just select different ones to change layouts. You can also add transitions in here. So we're gonna click the plus. Let's go with a simple slide transition. I think it's gonna look pretty good on here. I wanna go right. Let's go right, boom. There we go. So we got a simple slide transition so we can go from just chatting to our game scene and we can easily switch these around like that. You can add a third camera. There's no law that says you can't. You just click the plus and you go into your video capture device, third cam, click OK. And let's see, I think this one will work. There we go. And I'm not going to add any audio for this because any audio that you add for these other cameras is just going to triple up the same audio. It's going to be a mess. But there we go. We have this right here. And you can see that has more of a different aspect ratio. If I don't want all this other stuff in the field of view, I can just crop it up. And now we have kind of a different angle. So now we've got game one, game two, game three. We can add as many cameras as we want. Now, generally speaking, I think you should add cameras that add something to your live stream. So like I said, for teaching, you wanna show your hands for you know playing the piano, playing the guitar. Maybe you're teaching some sort of dance move and you want your full body in the shot, but then you also want a camera on your feet in a gaming situation. Uh, people can see what keys I'm pressing because we have a hand cam here, but they can also see me. So if I have facial expressions or whatever, they're gonna be able to see it. This is a great way to add a second layer to your live stream. And if you wanna have a third camera with a different angle, especially for something like a dance teacher or something, Maybe you want a profile angle and you want a straight on angle and, uh, and then a foot angle. Who knows? There are so many different things you can do and these are webcams. These are cheap. This webcam, I don't know, 100 bucks, a couple hundred bucks that will move around anywhere you want. That webcam is totally stationary. It's probably like 40 bucks. I mean, it's literally the cheapest junk you can buy. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great. The whole point is to provide your viewer with the best experience possible. And you know, if a simple cheap webcam will do that, really the main aspect of your live stream that needs to be good is your audio. So make sure that you have a quality microphone that's set up properly and the visuals, they just accent great audio and you'll be all set. Hopefully this helps you to find ways that you can add multiple cameras. But also, Prism is just awesome. In any other thing, you're gonna have to add plugins or anything else to remove your background this quick and to be able to use the same camera twice, like I'm doing right here. See how my Just Chatting camera has the whole background, whereas when I go into the game, my background is removed. If you had to do something like that in OBS, you've gotta download Source Clone and you have to download some sort of background removal thing. It's all built right into Prism. And that's why I love it. It's so easy for new streamers. Now I told you it was easy. There are a lot of other ways that you can use multiple cameras. The only real limit is your imagination. If you wanna see how to use Prism to get streaming on Twitch in just a few minutes as a beginner, should definitely check this video out. I just wanna say a big thanks to Prism Live Studio for sponsoring this video. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.